أعزائي المشاهدين أهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة من برنامجكم الوطني رواد الأعمال كما عودناكم في كل حلقة نصير نخبة من رجال الأعمال المتميزة اخترنا لكم اليوم مستر جيسون إنجليش the CEO of Alayth Group مستر جيسون we'd like to welcome you first in our program in our show we are really glad to have you with us we would like you to introduce yourself for our audience yeah so my name is Jason English uh, I'm the CEO of Alayth and also the CEO of our uh, holding company uh, the CG Tech Group Welcome again, Mr. Jason. Tell us more about the services that you provide here in Alaytha Group. So Alaytha is essentially split into two different business units. Uh, the one is a rentals and sales business, where we really focus on products that um, are of rental use in the, in the Middle East region. Uh, things like porter cabins, we have powered access machinery, um, everything from sort of temporary infrastructure, temporary facilities, um, toilets, fencing, golf carts, and you know a whole spectrum. Um, on the other side, we have what we call our EPC services business, which is an engineering, procurement, and construction. And essentially, what we do is we engineer, procure, and construct large-scale structures, uh, usually of a steel nature, so steel structures, and that could be anything from scaffolding to truss systems to concert stages, seating, um, temporary venues. Pretty much if it's temporary, we'll engineer, we'll procure and we'll construct it. Perfect. So while we were, while we were we talking, you said that you are the chief ecosystem executive. So why ecosystem? Yeah, so it's interesting. I think if you think about how uh, CEOs of the past operated, it was very much around an executive role, numbers, results, etc. I think in today's society, um, Ecosystems is really what the CEO needs to manage. And an ecosystem is everything from your communities to your people, to your clients, to your supply chains, as well as your competitors. Um, and so, you know, by, by calling ourselves the chief ecosystem officer, I think ultimately what we're doing is we're repositioning ourselves as leaders to think more around the whole inclusivity of the ecosystem around us rather than just as an executive where I'm looking at financials and numbers the whole time. And really the executive part is the results. So the financials are just the results of everything you do really well and badly in your business. And so, uh, so yeah, we think that by focusing on the right inputs, we ultimately deliver good results. As you know, Dubai is a business hub. A lot of companies, a lot of business, the competitors, a lot of competition, Tell us what makes you special here in Alayth Group that will make the client return always to Alayth. Yeah, so it's always interesting. I mean, I think the reality is that, you know, competition is stiff um, and it is hard to differentiate yourselves in today's markets. I think Alayth has a 27 year history, um, like many other long standing companies. So definitely service is one of those um, unique differentiators. I think we have an incredibly amazing team of people. Um, that have stood the test of time. Um, we really try and work with the clients to understand the client's needs. And then we provide solutions. Um, I think the other big advantage that we have is that we do have the sales and rentals business as well as the EPC, which is rather unusual uh, for, any, for a business that operates in, in, in these spaces. Because what that allows us to do is not only provide an engineering and construction solution, but also all the kit that goes with that. So we can support the sites, you know, we call ourselves the one-stop shop. Mm -hmm. um, it's not exactly true, but, uh, but we're getting there. And I think that uh, on top of that, we're then very much a digitally focused business. So we have a lot of innovation, we have a lot of tech. Most of our equipment is fitted with IoT devices and systems. Um, we have, you know, a lot of our, our online uh, safety reporting is all done through electronic systems. It's all digital. Our, Project managers on site have access to all the information through digital tablets. Um, so we've really tried to focus on bringing a lot of innovation. Uh, we have our tech business out in the UK, which supports uh, our operations here. And really they focus on virtual reality development, augmented reality, holographic development, 3D renders. Um, and so we've used a lot of that technology to enable our business here to help us train our resources better. Um, which means that we have a, a much more skilled workforce than the majority of, of our competitors out there. But also that we actually have, you know, the cool factor. Mm -hmm. And so we attract a lot of young talent. Um, you can see if you walk around the offices, you see a lot of the, the Google vibe, yeah. you know, the, the, the Google look and feel. 
And I think those are all sort of unique differentiators that you don't always see um, out in the field, but certainly within our culture, uh, we feel that. And so, you know, to sum it up, I would say you pull all that together and probably our culture is our uniqueness that's hard to replicate. Tell us the vision of the company. So, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty hard to think about visions uh, in, in the sense. I think one of the things we say is we really want to just be a, you know, we want to be a group of, like, we want to be a group of people that make an extraordinary difference mm -hmm. to the ecosystem around us. Um, and that might sound like a lot of fluff, but the reality is it's, it is true. And I think when you think about it like that, it's then, okay, well, what does our vision become as a business? And I think, you know, we could say our vision is just, you know, to provide products and build stages. And, but, but actually what we're doing is we're giving people, you know, if we think about the concert side or the event side of our business, our vision there is really to create environments for communities mm -hmm. that they can actually live their best life yeah. so whether that's going to a sporting event whether that's going to a music festival we really want to be able to enable that fun and enable them to actually have this great experience when it comes down to construction and, and the other parts you know we really we're looking at enabling those contractors to to construct new buildings mm -hmm. to build things and when you think about it holistically really it comes down to our vision is that we really want to be a part of this growth of the UAE, the Middle East in general. Mm -hmm. And so we really, you know, we want to participate in whatever way we can, um, but utilizing the products and the specialities, technical skills that we have. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can all benefit from that in the long run. So where that takes us, I don't know, but we're certainly moving into some interesting spaces. 3D printing is one of those that we're, you know, manifesting ourselves into and, uh, uh, we're looking at some other interesting spaces too. We hope all the best for you and for a later group as well. Hello, Mr. Dean. We're really glad to have you today in the interview. We would like you to introduce yourself for our audience. Thank you very much. My name is Dean Whittle. I'm the regional EPC manager for the UAE. Uh, EPC virtually means engineer, procure and construct. Uh, basically that means whatever your requirements are, we can actually go out, we'll look at it, we'll engineer whatever you need, we'll procure whatever you need, and we'll build it. Start to finish, we'll do the whole job. Uh, we specialize in events, construction, main, mainly the event side. Um, so most of the stages you see all around the UAE and Saudi is gonna be built by al -Lath. Perfect, so when did your journey start here with al -Lath? My journey started in August last year. Oh, so, so I'm, I'm relatively new. So um, and how, how do you feel? How do you feel? Oh, that's about really, the really good. I mean, it's a, it's a fantastic company to work for. Um, it's one of the biggest event companies in the, in the Middle East. In, in fact, so yeah, it's been really good so far. Thank you for being with us. We hope all the best for you and for a later group. Thank you very much. We have today Mr. Paul Franco, the regional manager of KSA. We would Hi. like to welcome you with us. Thank and you. And we would like also to know you more and to let the audience know you more. Thank you. Uh, my name is Paul Cranko. I am the uh, regional manager for KSA, for our EPC division. We um, do all kinds of structures that we offer in the region, in the events industry. We uh, also um, have a lot of cabins toilet facilities, um, flexi-loose VIP facilities that we can offer, buggies, mules, over and beyond all the staging structures and the grandstands and all kinds of cool structures that we do. Perfect. So tell us more about the services in Saudi Arabia. Is it the same services? Do you provide the same services here in the UAE, in the Saudi Arabia market? Yes, we do provide mostly the same services, which is all the structures that we can build. We have all the cabins, the buggies and the mules, as I've previously mentioned. So the Saudi UAE has been in the market for 27 years. Uh, and in KSA, it's very new. In 2018, we, we established the market there. So it's still growing. The hope and the dream is to create what we have here in Saudi. So we have a lot of what we don't have in Saudi, we can take from the UAE and support them or fabricate from there. So 
we can offer the services from here to the Saudi market. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you for being with us today. It was really an honor meeting you today, Mr. Paul. Thank you very much. We have today also Mr. Michael Clark, the Operations Director of Alayth Group. We would like to welcome you first in our Thank program you. today. Thank you. We are really glad to have you. <laughs> Please tell us more about Alayth Group and what do you do exactly? So my name is Michael Clark. I am the uh, Director of Operations here within the EPC side of the business. Um, essentially, we provide a huge variety of solutions within, to, uh, within numerous industries primarily construction, oil and gas, and events. Um, we operate throughout the Middle East, um, and we tend to operate on a global scale, specifically within our, in, in the event sector. Perfect. Thank you for being with us today, Mr. Michael. You're welcome. Thanks. Before we end our interview, we'd like to thank you first for being in our show today. Tell us how can we reach and contact Alith Group? Yeah, so you'll be able to contact us on the uh, numbers below um, and the email address below and the website. Um, but our website pretty much has all the contacts, www.alith.com. Uh, or you could go to our holding company, which is mm -hmm. www.cg-tech, T-E-C-H, dot co. And, um, and yeah, then, uh, even this will be it. also down the screen. You forgot to mention that even the website and the contacting numbers will be down the screen. Thank They're you. On the screen. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you again, Mr. Jason. It was really an honor meeting you today. Ila huna azay al mushahidin nuni halqatana al isbuhiya with our special guest. Tabiuna kul jama'a wasabt. Ala qanatikum ABC Arabia. Dumtum bi khair. Bye bye.